Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Friday afternoon. We're going to discuss all kinds of things on this weather savants video. Welcome to the month of May. Uh, severe weather threats across the entire Central Plains. Man, they, they really ramp up as we go through the next uh, few days. So we're going to talk about severe th weather threats, where they're going to be as we head into the weekend, all of next week. And then I, I made a pretty I think it's a pretty cool long range graphic for you guys so you can kind of plan the month of May. So we're going to go over all that. First off, huge shout out to my boy Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four state premier roofing contractor. They're family owned and operated right here in Joplin, 7th and High Street. Had them do my roof uh, last November. Make sure you have them do yours, especially as uh, we are uh, in the spring and then heading into the summer. I'm of course, we get very large hail and wind damage this time of the year. So let's break this down. First off, uh, severe threats for today. Uh, a few little supercells, probably only two or three, are going to form just to the southwest of Dallas across central parts of Texas. But these are going to have the potential for one to three inch size hail. Also, another cluster up across southwestern parts of Nebraska where some supercells are going to form. And those will also have uh, the potential for one to three inch size hail. So let's go ahead and look outside right now. There's not a whole bunch going on. We have a few showers uh, that pass through the Kansas City metro area. So just east of Kansas City kind of dying at this point in time. Then we also have some showers, thunderstorms up through Iowa, parts of Nebraska. But the target zone today is going to be from North Platte to McCook and then over toward Kearney, Nebraska. And then again, I think we'll see a few supercells that form just to the southwest of the Dallas Fort Worth area. Everybody else is really going to see a pretty good Friday afternoon and then things really get rolling as we head into next week. When we look at the pattern, so the LRC's heady pattern, um, where we are at right now, we get into this active stretch for about the next eight to 10 days. So all of these forecasts, I base it off the LRC and the heady pattern. Um, so we're in this active stretch for about the next eight to 10 days. Then we kind of hit a lull for about six or seven days. And then the stretch from May 20th through about June 3rd is gonna be a big, big stretch of severe weather. All right, so let's break down today into the weekend. This afternoon looks great. Temperatures uh, in Joplin are gonna be into the upper 70, 75, Kansas City, 77, Wichita. Look at Oak City, 91 degrees. You can start to see those thunderstorms getting going in southern parts of Iowa, or Iowa, Nebraska. As we go into tomorrow morning, it stays mild. You can open up the windows. Temperatures only drop back into the mid-60s. Look at Saturday afternoon. Look at that. Joplin, 90 degrees, 89 Springfield, 90 Tulsa, 91 Oak City, near 90 in Kansas City. But watch this cluster of storms south of Oklahoma City. Those are going to have the potential for very large hail, one to three inch size hail. And it, as these storms push east, they kind of die. But I wouldn't be surprised if they get up into Tulsa, even Fort Smith or northwest Arkansas, maybe even a couple up toward Joplin. So we're going to watch that as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Let's go into Sunday. Another warm, windy day. Look at these temps. Upper 80s. Kansas City, Joplin, Springfield, Tulsa, Fort Smith. Look at this cluster of storms. More organized. Oklahoma City down toward Lawton, Wichita Falls, west of uh, Dallas. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these get up into southeastern Kansas, uh, northwest Arkansas, and southwestern parts of Missouri. Uh, we're going to have to see how they kind of form. Also, another cluster just north of Kansas City we're going to have to keep our eyes on. So, a lot to watch as we head into the weekend. Then I wanted to show you this just to give you the overall pattern for next week. Check this out. Monday, severe threat. Northern Oklahoma, Southeast Kansas, and the Central Missouri. Tuesday, warm front, severe threat. West Plains, Springfield, Joplin, over toward Emporia. Wednesday, severe threat. Joplin, Fayetteville, Tulsa, up toward Kansas City. Thursday, severe threat. Especially Central Kansas, down through western parts of Oklahoma. Friday, severe threat. Really, um, everywhere. <laughs> I mean, Central Missouri, all the way down through central parts of Oklahoma. All right, so this is what I built for you guys. I kind of wanted to break it down. So um, the gray days are okay days. Yeah, so you can see on Sunday, I have 
chances for thunderstorms, Monday chances for thunderstorms, Tuesday chances for thunderstorms. But I don't think the severe threat is very high, uh, so I kept it just gray days. I highlighted Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday because I think that is when we have the higher severe threat. Still thunderstorms next Saturday and Sunday, the 13th and 14th. 15th looks good. 16th, thunderstorms return. Higher severe threat on the 17th and the 18th, but Friday looks good. Severe threat again, the 20th. And then these blue days, I think we're going to have a chilly stretch. We may only have highs into the 60s, the 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Severe threat, the 24th. Severe threat, the 25th. Severe threat, the 27th. And then it uh, looks a little better, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. And then if I extend it out, severe threat for the first weekend of June. So I kind of wanted to break this down for you guys. Any comments, questions, leave them in the comment section below. You know I usually do these videos about four or five a week. Um, I hope you guys are having a great Friday, and we will chat soon.